What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna to be doing an update on MULM stock. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then I will show you the set of news uh, that might drive the price of this asset. And I have to say that we have an amazing news uh, related to Chevy Bolt and its uh, range, uh, new range record. And I will show you how it can affect the price of Marlin. And at the end of this video I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should we expect next. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video yesterday at this very point and I've told you that uh, because of uh, the total sentiment, uh, the fundamental news and uh, the fundamentals in general for Malin, we have uh, much more chances to break its all-time low at 72.16 cents and we broke it. We broke and set a new uh, so-called record at uh, six uh, point uh, at 68 cents and then it had a bounce to the upside uh, for about 10 percent and if you take a look on ju just recent movement if you switch uh, let's say to three minutes time frame and if you take a look uh, on this movement alone definitely you will see that uh, from its lowest point during yesterday's session till its highest point it gained uh, quite uh, decent 14.45%. Uh, but in general, I have to say that this asset is in consistent downtrend and you cannot rely on this asset because of uh, its uh, consistent movement to the downside. So, and uh, what do we have from the fundamental standpoint? First of all, let me show you that we don't have any news uh, from their official press release section. We don't have any news from David Mishri official Twitter account. We don't have any news uh, from Marlin Automotive official Twitter account. We don't have any news for, from Lawrence Harge's official uh, Facebook account. And uh, the only news uh, that we have right now is the anticipation of uh, their agreement. And uh, uh, right now all we know is that uh, Lawrence Harge wrote this. My deals are moving forward with or without Marlin. And uh, definitely it is uh, the worst uh, news that might be on the table right now. And we still don't have this confirmation, the confirmation of this agreement in between uh, Lawrence Harger's uh, uh, limited liability company and uh, Marlin Automotive. And uh, definitely if uh, this uh, contract uh, is not signed, we will not have any chances to rely on uh, so-called uh, Lawrence Harger's magic box. And uh, for now, the only potential catalyst that uh, are shilling by a lot of YouTubers is uh, the uh, Lawrence Harges uh, magic box, EMM technology, so-called EMM technology. Let me show you that uh, um, Cal from Financial Journey made a video nine hours ago uh, with this title, Marlin M1 range increased question mark exclamation mark. And uh, he stated in his video that uh, on this uh, due diligence that was made uh, just yesterday by Kandalf, you can see this statement and uh, it says uh, uh, Marlin 1 van traveled 262 miles in total. And uh, because of this statement alone, Cal made a conclusion that uh, probably uh, David Mishri already made some improvements in these uh, vans. But guys, just read the entire sentence or read the entire paragraph. And uh, Kendall wrote, but there is another questionable aspect of this range of value from the test results. Run A indicated that uh, the stock Marlin 1 van traveled 262 miles total, which is nearly 240% the actual rated range for the vehicle. This strongly suggests that there are aspects with how the test was conducted that are unrealistic and depart uh, from what you would uh, see in real world usage. And uh, this is the main statement and why in the world uh, Cal missed this uh, sentence. I don't know. <laughs> Actually, I know why he did it. But uh, let me show you this. In Financial Journey Twitter account, he reposted three hours ago this tweet made by, made by Chacha. Nice connecting the dots. And here is uh, this uh, tweet. Uh, it was published 10 hours ago and it says not sure if EMM was installed in Bolt for, in Bolt for this uh, testing, but here is testing done in Brazil to get 560 miles. <laughs> I have to say that it is mind-blowing number. Uh, the interesting thing is uh, the 
is in red, taking full advantage of the model's energy regeneration system with special directives. I also attached a bolt in Sodia, uh, 546 uh, kilometers of range. And here is these screenshots. As you can see, world record of 560 miles of range in, uh, southern, in South America country. Uh, taking full advantage of the model's energy regeneration system with special directives. And uh, the next screenshot is right here. But guys, if you take a look uh, on the news itself, and uh, you can find it easily in the internet, you will see that this uh, article was published on May 16th, 2023. And it says, 2023 Chevy Bolt EV sets 560 mile range world record. And let me quote to this. Following the official launch of the 2023 Chevy Bolt EV in Brazil, General Motors has just announced uh, that the small electric crossover set a world record of 560 mile, miles of range in South America country. And uh, this event uh, was directly related to General Motor Motors itself. And guys, if uh, the EMM uh, Magic Black Box uh, was uh, installed in uh, this uh, vehicle, don't you think that uh, Lawrence Hart would already made a lot of statements related to this uh, so-called achievement of uh, EMM technology? And let me show you these details. As you can see, this is uh, the team that uh, made this record. And let me quote you this. As such, the world record of 901.8 kilometers or 560 miles of range for Chevy Bolt EV was achieved by taking full advantage of the model's energy regeneration system with the special directives. The change was for drivers to avoid sudden acceleration and braking. No use of heating system, seat and steering wheel. So they drove for this vehicle without even power steering or air conditioning, as well as a serene driving style that yielded an average speed of 35 km per hour or 21.7 miles per hour. So in real world, you will not achieve uh, these numbers. And that is why uh, General Motors didn't change any numbers in their official statements of Chevy Bolt. As you can see, we are on official Chevrolet.com website. And here is the 2023 Chevrolet Bolt uh, EUV specifications. Efficiency, driving range, 247 miles. Nowhere near to 560 miles, despite this amazing record. And uh, this number will not be changed because uh, the real set of procedures that uh, should every vehicle uh, pass is this one. You have to use different speeds, you have to use uh, uh, air conditional, you have uh, certain circumstances if you uh, drive in cold temperature. And this is the test details that you should uh, follow in order to stay in line with the rules. And let me show you the real rules. Uh, right here we are on uh, SAE.org uh, website. And here is the battery electric vehicle and uh, energy consumption and range test procedure. Here is the number of this procedure. And uh, the uh, document itself is behind the paywall of $146. But if you uh, click here on related info, you will see that this document has uh, 61 pages in it. And it has a very thorough description of what should you do and how should you do in order to stay in line with these uh, requirements. And that is why these uh, graphs uh, that was published by Call recently, where they are, I don't... I cannot find them. These graphs are nowhere near to the real world range of these vehicles. And that is why the only reason why he posted this is just to shield this uh, company and to uh, try to push the price of mountain stock higher. But uh, I have to say that uh, it is uh, worthless. And uh, uh, my main assumption is that uh, this is a fraudulent company and you cannot rely on it based on uh, just the YouTubers. And that is why I have to say that do your own due diligence. And in my next video or the video after my next video, I will show you that probably Malin Automotive will launch their deliveries uh, this July, but it will not help them at all. And I will show you why. So stay tuned. And uh, if you like my video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends and family, and uh, see you guys and girls next time. Bye. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm bad